Right, this is another linear algebra lecture on inner product spaces. It's the end of the course, and there's usually a question of it on the exam. So, right, definitions as usual. Uh, this is known as an inner product. It's got two brackets, and it's UV, and it usually has a certain function inside, which is usually the dot product, and this will be given in the question. If it says the standard beta function, standard product, then it's just the dot product. Uh, axioms, uv, it's vu. So what this is saying is u with the dot product is u dot v. That's what it's saying. Here we have au plus bv. Now a and b are scalars, and the rest are all vectors. Um, au plus bv is a times uw plus b times vw, because we've got a comma and then w, so it's kind of the au w plus the bv w, and the a and b can come out. And it's the same if the a and b are on the other side on the w as well. Here we have uu is always greater than or equal to zero, and uu is zero if and only if u is zero. And to find the size of v, we find the square root of the inner product and well that, that's pretty straightforward if you've done uh, Newtonian mechanics I think and two definitions which come up quite a lot are orthonormal and orthogonal orthogonal sorry uh, and it's orthonormal if the size is 1 and if s and t gives the value 0 if s doesn't equal t and it's orthogonal if the st is zero. Yeah, so it's orthonormal if the size is one and it's orthogonal. Yeah. Right now, the Gram-Schmidt process. This is something you can use to turn one basis into another basis. So I've written it down. We, we want to turn the basis E into V. Now to do this, you let the uh, V one equal your first one. E1. Now for 1 less than k looks to x, so all the way up to our last one, yeah? So we'll use we'll do this for every single E here. We want to work this out. Now what this is saying, this is the sum from i equals 1 up to k. Okay? So the sum of i equals 1 to k. And of course your k will be changing each time. So, And we do this for each of like the v2, v3, all the way up to vx. Yeah? And to turn it into an orthonormal basis, because this, this t gives us a orthogonal basis with all the vks. Yeah? To turn this into orthonormal, we use this equation here, which is uk equals vk over the size of vk. Now I've got an example. We want to turn this basis here, E1, 1, 1, 0, E2, 0, 2, 1, E3, 0, 1, 1, into an orthonormal basis with the usual inner product, which means use the dot product. So, like we said, our first step is to let V1 equals E1, so our V1 is 1, 1, 0. V2, we use the equation we've got here, the sum from I equals 1 to K. Now, because K is 2, uh, we, ha we only have this here, so we have 1, 2, 1, 1. Now, there's no point putting v as 2 because it will cancel out and it's just not worth it. Because um, we don't want v2, we don't want i to equal k. Okay? So v2 is e2 minus this, which is v1, e2, v1, v1 times v1. Now to work this out, we're using the dot product, because this is what we're using it with. So v1 dot e2, v1 is this, so dot with e2, it's 1 times 0, which is 0, 1 times 2, which is 2, 0 times 1, which is 0. So this is 2, v1 v1, we do v1 dotted with itself, so it's 1 times 1, which is 1, plus 1 times 1, which is 1, which is 2, so now we have 2 divided by 2, which is 1, so now we have E2, which is this, minus V1, 
So this minus this is minus 1, 1, 1, which is this. Yeah? So this is our v, V2. Now for V3, we do exactly the same again. But because we've gone up to 3, we now have the V1s and we have the V2s. Yeah? It's, it, it, you can see how it follows on. So we have V1, E3, V1, V1, V2, E3, V2, V2. Now you can work this out exactly the same. So we'll have V1 times E3. So V1 is this one times uh, E3, which will give us 0, 1. It's just 1 over V1 dot V1, which we worked out here, which is 2. So we have, we're minusing a half of this and minusing v2 dot e3 this is v2 dot e3 which is 0 1 1 which is 2 over v2 which is v2 dot d2 which is this this which is uh, 1 1 1 which is 3 so minus uh, did I say that was 2 uh, 2 thirds times v2 which is this which will give you a sixth minus a sixth and a third mm -hmm. Right now, to make this now now this is what we've got. We've got v1, v2, v3, and this is an orthogonal set, as we said before. So now we need to turn it into an orthonormal set using this equation here. So we get each of the the each of our values in the basis and divide it by its size. Yeah. So to, so to find its size, we're just <coughs> uh, dotting itself with itself, really. Yeah, because I said before that the size is here, the square root of it. So for this one, we have uh, 1 dot 1, so it's 1 times 1, which is 1, 1 times 1, which is 1, 0 times 0, which is 0, which is 2, and we divide by the square root of that, so our first one is root 2, root 2, 0. Yeah, for this one we do exactly the same which is 1 plus 1 plus 1, because we're doing 1 times 1, uh, and we divide by root 3. This one's a bit trickier, but again, you'll end up with 1 over root 6 minus 1 over root 6, 2 over root 6. There you go.